Getting ready for the biggest Gaelic Games youth competition anywhere in the world outside Ireland. The kids in San Diego can't wait for the CYC, the Continental Youth Championships, to be played at the end of July in San Francisco. It's the highlight of the year for a club in Southern California. They went to New York last summer and are looking forward to the CYC coming closer to home. Uh, well, the last couple of years has been really fun. We've come home with, I think it was three championships and two ones up the last two year, years. So we're hoping to get a little bit more. And what is the whole experience like of the CYC? What's it like being there? Well, you just win, you just play and then you go watch a game and then next thing you know you're playing again so it's just keep on going and it's fun. Well it's really fun playing against people who I've never seen before and I don't know what they're good at because when we play against our own teammates we have we already know where they like what what foot what foot they use and all that stuff. How strong are, is your team, the San Diego team, and what sort of chance do you think you'll have in San Francisco? I think we have a 75% chance because we're, we work as a team and all of us together, we re are really strong. Can you name me a few of the best players? Because I don't know them and you've been playing with them a long time. Who are your best players for, and looking at today? Well, Keane's about to come on, and Seamus, he's really good. He's been playing for like five years, same as me. And my friend Todd, he's new, but he's really fast, and he can do it really quickly. And some of the girls were good players? Mm-hmm. My sister, Brianna, she's, she's wearing the same shirt as me. She's the only one that's wearing it. Yeah, she's pretty good. We have a pretty strong team, and our best players would be me, Garrett, and shamey but he wasn't here today their coach is a Mayo man working for the gaa in california and he's as excited as the players to be going to treasure island i've never been to a cyc this is going to be my first cyc as well so um yeah i would have been in san francisco we should have uh, bigger numbers going you know we can drive up this time usually you know parents have to fly and it's, uh, san diego is usually the furthest we have to travel the furthest so um, yeah, definitely. I uh, don't want to give away too much, you know, but uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think they'll compete well, you know. My job really is to, um, uh, to kind of over administer the whole thing, you know, so uh, recruitment as well is a big, uh, big goal of mine. So getting into schools, getting kids out, you know, raising the awareness and then any of the cool camps, the local tournaments and stuff, organizing that. And, um, and then kind of looking at the bigger picture, like I have a nice project lined up for the summer where I'll be at the, the PE uh, convention there in, um, in San Luis Obispo, so putting on workshops for PE teachers and you know, nice little projects like that. That got um, set up by, by uh, Terry Lynch and Caitlin Quinn. Um, so, uh, stuff like that, projects I'm looking forward to as well. So, Some people describe Gaelic Games as a, a great secret, you know, and it's got fantastic potential. You see GA coaches more common now going abroad from the likes of or Carlo IT, whether it's through Ulster GA and so on. And you just wonder, you know, in 10 years' time, where Gaelic Games could be. Yeah, well, even if you look at, um, you know, in 1884, did they ever envision that the Gaelic Games that will be we've gone this far, you know? So uh, you see it as well with the with the hurling is a big pickup in the colleges out here because it's, you know, it's the novelty of it. And when kids go to college, they want to try out something new. They see this crazy sport and, you know, they pick it up. So it definitely has, has a lot of potential, you know? And what I've been, what I hear as well a lot from parents is, you know, if it gets on TV, if you get that, that out there, you know, even if it's not on, you know, the major sports channels, but if it's on TV, you know, you see the Australian rules on TV. I know it's a professional sport, but um, if if that happens, it could the growth could be exponential, you know.